Good morning, everyone. Everyone in the whole wide world. And I'd like to thank Facebook and Mark Zetterbo for creating Facebook for making it possible that I can talk to people in all the world and bring the gospel to all the world right from my home. Well, it's Good Friday, April 14th, 2017. My daughter once said it should be called Bad Friday, but no, it is Good Friday because that's the day that the Lord Jesus um, bled and died and was beaten and everything like that for you and me. And I got a poem this morning for this special day, and I'd like to share it with you. And then after I share the poem, I'd like to share with you how you can be saved and how you can know if you are saved. So here's the poem. He was nailed. He was nailed to the cross for you. He was nailed to the cross for me. Beaten and shamed, yet his love stayed the same. A crown of thorns was placed on his head. That's what the Bible has surely said. Why did he do this, one might say. It's so we can be saved on Judgment Day. Our sins were nailed upon the cross as a sacrifice for all the lost. And then he died for you and for me. And he's coming again for those who are free from their sin. He's coming for the sinners who became the saints. Make Jesus your Lord now before it's too late. Okay. Now here's the plan of salvation. First, you have to admit you're a sinner. As Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then you must believe on the Lord. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. And Romans 10, 9 says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And Romans 10, 10 says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth he confesses. The confession is made unto salvation. So confess Jesus as your Lord. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you must repent, which means you must change your mind. You must stop sinning or stop living in sin. Everyone's going to slip into sin, but you don't have to wallow in it. Acts 3.19 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. In Acts 17.30, In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. And when they say men, they mean women as well. And Mark sixteen sixteen says, He that believes and is baptized, um, which means to cover with the fluid, it's immersion, then they shall be saved. And here are some signs that you are saved. Second Corinthians five seventeen says, If anyone be in Christ, they are a new creature, all things are passed away. The new has come. And 1 John 3.14 says, We know we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He that loves not his brother abides in death. 
And then also read 1 John 2, verse 3. And if we love the brethren, we will want to be around them. We will want to go where other believers are, other brothers are, to a place of worship. And the Bible says, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. So my husband and I always say, if you don't even go anywhere where they are worshiping the Lord, then you really don't have a lot to say to us. And I'll tell you, I have sins. One of my greatest sins is gossiping. I tell people not to gossip, and I still fall into it. I'm sorry. It's something I have to work on. Also, overeating and also giving in to depression. To me, that is sin. It may not be to you, but it is to me because I got the king of kings living in me. Then in the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And so to give in to depression like I did yesterday to me is sin, but I have the grace of God. First John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is just and he will forgive all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Well, that's all I got to say for now. Um, everyone have a great day and think about what the Lord Jesus did for you on this day about 2,000 years ago. Go with God and he will go with you.